so much, Shay. Well, it's day two of testimony in the George Zimmerman murder trial, and we're monitoring this case from every angle we can. Our John Thomas is live in Sanford right now with more on what we're hearing both sides will have to say today. Yeah, day one, we had opening statements. We also had our first witnesses. Day two, though, we're going to kind of stop things down for a while for a hearing. That hearing is going to center around George Zimmerman and calls that he made to non-emergency police numbers months before Trayvon Martin was shot. Now, one was played in court yesterday by the prosecution. The defense objected, saying it's irrelevant. The prosecution countered, though, with it helps set up what state of mind Zimmerman was in when he ran across Trayvon Martin. Now, Judge Deborah Nelson decided, okay, hold it. Let's hold a hearing on this issue. That is going to go today. On day one, though, opening statements would really set the tone. Defense attorney Don West would start with a terrible knock-knock joke, but he would then walk the jury through every aspect of their case. Assistant state attorney John Guy was emotional. He was passionate in his openings, and he would end with this chilling statement. That George Zimmerman... Well, that statement was uh, right to the point, saying George Zimmerman, basically, he went out and he was looking for something to happen. It really was chilling. Uh, today, things are going to kick off here at the courthouse again at 8.30. We are streaming this live online. If you want to watch, just go to abcactionnews.com. Back to you.